لله رب العالمين نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters Today our topic is about Toba, repentance, going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whenever we commit a wrong. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O you who believe, repent to Allah with a clear repentance, a repentance that is acceptable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tawbah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Innama tawbatu Ala Allah al-lazina ya'maluna Su'a bi jahalatin That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He forgives The, the tawbahs upon him for those Who do wrong actions Then They go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Right after Immediately they commit the wrong action And those Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive them, give them repentance immediately after they have committed a wrong. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the all-knowing, the all-wise. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, whoever does a wrong, a bad action, or he commits a wrong against himself, puts a person upon himself, then, Allah, uh, then he seeks forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then Allah he will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiving and merciful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another spot, Tell my slaves that indeed I am the most forgiving, the most merciful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in this one, Say, O oh my slaves who have committed wrong against themselves do not do not give up on the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he gives he forgives every sin all the sins that we do except shirk ascribing partners to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now all of us we commit sins every day and many of us, we turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a lot of us, we feel like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive us. That the shaitan makes us believe that if we commit an action, something that we do something wrong, we think we are the most sinners and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive us, is done, is, is done deal. There's no forgiveness for us, for us. That's what we think about ourselves. And then a great example is is our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He says O oh people Repent to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala For indeed I repent to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala 100 times in the day 100 times in the day Now our Prophet, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He has been forgiven for every sin All his sins Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has forgiven him He has never committed any sin Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Is clean of all sins But He's doing this to show us a good example of that who we are and where we stand. Us human beings, we commit sins every day. And our Prophet is seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 100 times within the day. He used to do that. And who are we? We should be seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more. Our Prophet said that every human being is a sinner. Every son of Adam is a sinner Except The ones who turn back That the best of sinners are the ones who turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in Hadith al-Qudsi 
this is a very it's a very sensitive hadith because if you if we look at it the way he addresses us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you feel his love for us you will feel it he says yabna adam o oh son of adam inna kama da'utani wa rajawtani that indeed however much you call me and you seek me ghafartu laka i forgive you i forgive you every time you commit a sin from the day you know we reach baligh until the day we die we commit sins and sins then we go back to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive us his forgiveness is ready for us and then he says la ubali i don't care you know whatever wrong we do allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as long as we seek forgiveness from him he does not care he will forgive us so why are we shying from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ask for his forgiveness to stand in front of him we all commit sins no one is perfect we all know no one is perfect but we see someone who's going to the masjid oh, okay compared to that person you know he's probably up there in, in status that's now everything is now what it looks like brothers that brother is seeking forgiveness just like you and we should copy that person that brother and that sister and seek forgiveness from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he continues in the hadith qudsi ya ibn adam law balaghat dhunubuka anan as-samaa if your sins reach the pinnacle of the skies all the way up thumma istaghfartani then you seek forgiveness from me i will forgive you and i do not care your sins start from where you are all the way up it fills up the earth then you seek forgiveness astaghfirullah once allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wipes away all your sins then he continues o son of adam if you come to me bi qurab al ardi khataya if you come to me with the earth full of sins right thumma laqitani then you meet me do you meet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you die you did not ascribe partners to him and you didn't worship other, other than allah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shay, he says laqituka bi qurabiha maghfiratan then i will meet you with earth full of forgiveness allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you and then there's a very interesting story there was this man his name was kifl that he said anas radi i was uh, narrated by umar ibn umar radiyallahu anhu he said I heard the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say many times that there was this man his name was Kifl Al Kifl he was from Bani Israil from the time of the Prophet uh, before the time of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the time of Isa alaihi salam then this guy he would not leave he since he lived he committed sins didn't do any good no good at all nothing in his good no good deeds in his action and uh, in his bank As you can think about it, you have a bank, there's no money in it. That means you didn't work. You know, if you have a lot of money, that means there's something. Here he didn't do anything. No good deeds, just full of bad deeds in that bank. Right? So, a woman came to him. Then he gave her 60 dinars in within the, uh, the money of that time that he has intercourse with her. You know he sleeps with her in the bed. Then when he got close to her like a man who's married to his wife would get close to her before intercourse during the night, right? She started to shake. And then after she started to shake, she started, you know, to pull away and he was like, "What why are you pulling away? Did I do something? You know, did, did I try to force you to do this?" Of course she said no you didn't try to force me you didn't force me but she was crying because she said I've never done this before and she was crying out of fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and she's never done this before and she was crying out of fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why because this action what led her to this action because poverty you know a need came up people will get really poor when the poverty hits people go to extreme lengths to be able to fulfill that need so what happened he said so you fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and i don't fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then he said after this i'm not committing any sin right after this 
Then that night, this man, he died. So after he died, in front of his door, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven this man. Now people are shocked. They're like, how? This can't be possible. This man, we've seen him. He's been committing so much sins his whole life. How can he be forgiven? But they don't know what happened the night before. And brothers and sisters, this is a great example for us. You know, we look at our actions and we think, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive me. One action we do, oh my God, I've added on to it. What can I do now? There's nothing I can do. Allah will not forgive me. I'm a bad person. Then we start comparing ourselves to other people and we think, these people are better than us. In fact, they may be, but they are humans just like us and they're committed sins. So if we have any bad habits that we're into, we must forgive, like seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.